Hi everyone, it is July 13, 2020, when Obama was campaigning and talking about updating our um, broadband, getting broadband to places where it had never been, and the switch, all those who had the analog, they had to switch to digital. Well, guess what? There was a reason. SSSS, Silent Sound Spread Spectrum. I'm not going to read the whole article. I'll link below to it. The Department of Defense called it Silent Sound Spread Spectrum. Goes by the name of S Squad or Squad. In the private sector, the technology goes by the name. Always changing my color scheme. Goes by the name of Silent Subliminal Presentation System, and the technology has also been released to certain corporate vendors who have attached catchy brand names like BrainSpeak Silent Subliminals. SSSS is a technology that uses subliminal programming that is carried over ultra high frequency broadcast waves, planting inaudible messages directly into the subconscious human mind. Perfected more than 20 years ago by the Department of Defense, battlefield tested upon unwitting Iraqi soldiers in the Gulf War. It's a sinister weapon that may have been developed for a specific mission, the total subjugation of the American people. The all-digital TV signal means to deliver it into the minds of an unsuspecting U.S. populace. Whether that's true or not, it can be deployed by many different devices, including Harp and Gwen Towers, which would effectively blanket the entire nation at once. Judy Wall says that there is evidence that the U.S. government has plans to extend the range of this technology to envelop all peoples, all countries. This can be accomplished, is being accomplished, by utilizing the nearly completed HARP project for overseas areas and the Gwen network now in place in the United States. And of course the government denies all of this. It's completely undetectable by those being targeted. It delivers subliminal programming directly to the human brain via the auditory system at frequencies that humans are incapable of perceiving a sound no defense against it. Everyone on the planet is equally susceptible to mind control via SSSS, and there isn't any escape from it. As the UHF waves can be transmitted over very long distances from remotely located sources and will pass through walls and other objects as they are not as if they're not even there. The frequency 100 megahertz has been used for television and radio broadcasting for as long as there has been media. Even more insidious, though, is the fact that coupled with the use of supercomputers, an individual's unique EEG patterns can be digitally altered, then stored for rebroadcast via digital UHF. According to Judy Wall, who is the editor and publisher of Renaissance, a newsletter of the Bioelectromagnetic Special Interest Group, these computer-enhanced EEGs can identify and isolate the brain's low amplitude emotion signature clusters, synthesize them, and store them on another computer. In other words, by studying the subtle characteristic brave wave patterns that occur when a subject experiences a particular emotion, scientists have been able to identify the concomitant brain wave pattern and can now duplicate it. These modified emotion signature clusters can then be broadcast over UHF carrier frequencies, just regular TV and radio sign signals, directly into the brain where they can then silently trigger the same basic emotion in another human being. In other words, if the emotional signature cluster for, say, a feeling of hopelessness and despair is being fed directly into your brain via unseen radio waves, you will feel these emotions. The implications of this are quite literally mind-boggling.